What's up champ? Hope you're having a great day. Another day in the video and this video is of extreme importance. I want you to go and grab a pen, paper, don't want you to write this on the computer. Let's get to work. We're gonna talk about your movie ending. Your movie ending is what I keep referring to constantly. I'm talking about it in our webinars, I'm talking about it on my social media, but I actually have a formula. And this is what I'm gonna teach you right now. When you think about movie ending, you can hear goal instead. But I'm not necessarily a fan of the word goal because movie ending is something inspiring. It tells me something. It tells me what I want to achieve. I can see it. I can visualize it much more. So I want us to visualize your goal. All right. Not only goal, your goals. First things first is that we're gonna make sure that we get your long-term movie ending. That can be five years from now, it can be a year from now, or in my case, I have it. I have one year movie ending, I have five year movie ending, and then I have right the day before I die movie ending, all right? You can map it out the way as you want to. Don't get overwhelmed. You start with a year from now, I want to be here. And then we start to map it out from there. Okay, so talking about your long-term movie ending. And then we have the short-term movie ending. You can see that as like an episode in your movie or like an episode in you, your series. 16 weeks from now. So how do we map it out? When you think about movie ending, I want you to think about four pillars, four different pillars. We're talking about health. We're talking about wealth. We're talking about love and we're talking about happiness. Health, wealth, love, happiness. These are the four categories in your life. So from health, how much do you want to train? How much, or not even want to train? When you're writing this out, I want you to write it out as in, I'm training, so as you're doing it right now. But remember, this is your movie and this, we're looking into the future your perfect future. I'm training five days a week. I'm doing move, morning movement seven days a week. I'm meditating seven days a week. I go out running X amount of weeks. I train dancing, blah, 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 blah. So you're filling it out with the things that you are doing. So I don't want you to write, uh, I want to train five days a week. I want to do this. I want to do that. Tell me what you are doing. Write it as you're already doing it. So everything that has to do with your wealth. Don't just take the things that I wrote down. Write down your own. I have, ha I have strong joints. I have a good posture. I have good knees. I have a strong hip. I can move in ways that allows me to express myself. For example, it's up to you, right? I wake up with energy every day. I have, I can easily crawl out of bed. I don't wake up with neck pain. Write out the things that you are doing and that you are in control of. This is very important. And this is not only for health, this is for wealth, love and happiness also. So you are writing out the things that you are doing and the things that you are in control of. So for me, for example, in my movie ending, it says that I train minimum five days per week. I can control that. I cannot control, I train at the gym five days a week because the amount of traveling I'm doing, the other year I did 38 different travels. I can't control if I have access to a gym all the time, but I can control that if I have a resistant band with me, I can control that I can do body weight exercises. So my movie ending when it comes to health is I don't have a lot of, if any, aesthetic goals there. It's not saying I'm having a six pack, I'm uh, bench pressing this many kilos. That's not what's attractive to me. All right, make sure you write down the things that you control or can control, that's health. Wealth makes sense. How is your work life? How many hours are you working? 
Are you in working with something that gives you purpose? Or are you just working with something that you're really passionate about, but maybe not your purpose? Or are you just working with something that you don't really find that fun in order to support your other life? Are you going to your nine to five in order for you to support your passion? We're gonna talk more about your passion down here on happiness. So health, wealth, love, happiness was here. <laughs> write it out. And again, write down the things that you can control. I want to be financially independent or I am financially independent. How many zeros is that? How many zeros is that on your account? Is that something recurring or I want to, I'm working with something that makes me feel passionate. I wake up with joy going to work. I'm a manager of this many people, a CEO of this big company. Wealth, love. How's your love life? Are you single? Are you in a relationship? What type of relationship are you in? How are you connected with your partner? Are you guys working together? How many hours per week are you spending time doing what you want? I'm living with my partner and I feel that we are on the same wavelength. Me and my partner continuously share each other's struggles and wins. We are blah, blah, blah. I am doing this. I am doing that. Remember, here comes the tricky part. In the love bubble, it's no longer only you, it's someone else usually. So remember that when you're putting down the things, it needs to be things that you are in control of. Again, there are exceptions to the rules, there's always exceptions to the rules, but for the most part, add things that you are in control of and you can control. I'm engaging in this relationship with transparency. I want us both to cherish this. Be as specific as you can. Health, wealth, love, happiness. I am going out dancing a lot. I spend time with my friends and family. I am engaged in things that continuously make me happy as in charity, for example. What makes you happy? What makes you feel purposeful? What makes you feel that you are part of something bigger than you? I'm part of a community of like-minded individuals that are striving to grow, that are pushing me and holding me accountable. I'm also bringing a lot of value to other people's life. Things that you can control that makes you feel happy. I'm going continuously on vacations overseas. I spend time out in the air, out in the, in the woods. Well, that might also be up on health. Right? So map things out for you. Health, wealth, love and happiness. Health, wealth, love and happiness. Those are your four pillars. Make sure to map it out. Make sure to know the things that are in your control. Now, map out your long-term movie ending. And then from there, we can just start to navigate down. Okay, how, how are we going to arrive there? And look, I'm doing this because there will be ups and downs in this. There is not a straight line to your movie ending. So my movie ending, I say that I want to be able to dance at a party the day before I die. I want my friends to be there. I want my family to be there. And I want it to be an epic party. Then epic party for me is not the same as epic party for you. I have what type of chairs we are sitting on. I have... Uh, my best friend is there, my girl is there, my family is there, other people in my life is there. So we're partying, having a great time. Nobody's worried, nobody has financial issues, no, everybody good, everybody ease of mind, everybody happy, smiling. Am I dancing a crazy hip hop song? I don't know, that's not in my control. What's in my control is that I know I will be dancing while I sit in a wheelchair. That's not in my control. But I know that I want to be healthy. So then I know I need to take care of my joints, morning movements every day, eat these vitamins, my health. Again, it's also about nutrition, right? So I'm eating this way. I'm doing that. So 
when I arrive to my movie ending, my short term or my long term movie ending, it's mapped out for me. If I want to arrive here, dance the day before I die, have friends, have a love, have a relationship with somebody I love who's also a dancer or at least likes to dance with me in a wheelchair or not, then I need to act accordingly down here. Right? But then from there, I can start to map it out, you know? I can start to map it out. There's also things in my movie ending, my long-term movie ending, the day before I die, that I want to be able to do. I don't want to go too much into details. But when I'm down here, all of this needs to correlate. When you know your movie ending, when you know the final scene of your movie, then it's going to be a lot easier for you to map out your short-term movie ending, your scenes, the different episodes of your life. And it's going to be very easy to stay consistent, to stay disciplined. I'm not always motivated to go there. But if I pause for it sometime and I look at my life where I am right now and I look at my movie ending where I want to be or where I'm going to be, it fuels me. It gives me fire. It gives, makes me inspired. It gives me a sense of purpose. And that's the power of the movie ending, if done correctly. This is your homework. Do your movie ending. Health, wealth, love and happiness. Send me a photo of your movie ending. I want you to write this by hand. Send me a photo. And remember, it's always by Dancers for Dancers.